Oh my god, I fing choke! Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was perfect, dude. Hold up. Don't let the smiles and laughter fool you. What you're looking at is a very broken man. A broken man who has made over 65 attempts on possibly the hardest boss in Soul's history. To fully understand how I went down this path of self-inflicted torture, let me give you a little backstory. It all started a couple months ago when I started to devise a plan. A plan to tackle the massive backlog of games that I have accumulated over the years. Between not gaming for the past 6 months and overall losing interest in gaming, I needed a spark to reignite my passion. That's when I decided to embark on a journey. A journey that would push me down a path to join an elite set of gamers. A set of gamers that redefine the term, no lifer. And to enter a world that I know puts me on a pedestal far above my peers. That world is the one of Platinum Trophy Hunting. Sitting at the top of my list for quite some time is a game that is not only described as one of the best Souls games ever made, but one of the best games ever made, period. With a mix of being a big fan of Souls games and an overwhelming sense of shame for not finishing the game yet, it was only right to start this journey of Platinum Trophy Hunting on the former game of the year, Elden Ring. When looking up the trophy list for Elden Ring, it became pretty obvious that the Platinum Trophy was not all that complicated to achieve. The full list of 42 trophies can be mostly broken down into three main objectives. Objective number one is to beat all the bosses. Objective number two is to find all of the legendary collectibles including armaments, talismans, incantations, and ashen remains. And objective number three is to achieve three different endings. As a big fan of every Souls game that I've played so far, I wanted my Elden Ring experience to be just like the other Souls experiences that I've grown to know and love. Unwavering difficulty with no help in sight. That means no summoning, no magic, no overpowered ashes of war, and above all, no mimic tier. To get things started off, we are met with the creation of our character followed by an immediate boss fight. Damn, dude. It's gonna take me a minute to get my freaking uh, Elden Ring legs back under me. We can lock on here. Oh, God. We already took a massive hit. All right, there we go. <laughs> From there, I awaken in a short tutorial area where I get a real handle on the controls, including my weapon's ability. Oh, my God, dude. Exclamation point boss. Oh, God. I might actually die here. Correct, my friend. Next, I am finally introduced to the first open world area of the map, Limgrave. Full disclosure, I played this game for a short period of time when it first released, so I'm already starting off with five trophies. With that being said, I knew what lie ahead. So I decided to start off a bit slow, exploring the map and fighting some of the easier bosses. This led me to my first dungeon and consequently, my first death. Oh shit. He's winning, oh no. Oh, thank God. Thank God you don't take freaking fall damage in this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, buddy? Seriously? Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no. That was the lamest death. After taking care of those grimy little bastards, I am met with my first boss of the game. I don't know who this boss is. Who is this? Burial watchdog? That is a cat. That is not a dog. I don't like the way he moves, man. Sleep paralysis. Yeah, that is a good way to put it. And apparently he won hits. Maybe I should quit doing this uh, unsheathing every five seconds. Kind of like it though. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing real good. It is It is cat dog. Yeah, you're right. Cat dog. Little, 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 little cat dog. Getting greedy. Oh, I'm, I'm beating that ass. Don't get greedy. Oh, no, mas hit for your por favor. Get him out of here. Get him out of my freaking game. Freaking cat dog, dude. Other than leveling up a bit, I knew that I needed a better weapon to take on some of the tougher later bosses, which means taking on this guy in order to get the Bloodhound's Fang. Oh, I wanted that. Getting greedy. 
Damn it. Waste of a heal. Okay, this is it. Don't get greedy. Oh, fuck. Let's go, baby. How many attempts was that? Four? After discovering I was a bit under leveled to use it, I decided to take on a few more easy bosses to level up. My early exploration also included attempting a boss that I was initially very intimidated by. Oh, we're gonna take him for sure, dude. You suck ass, Tree Sentinel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're feasting. We're feasting on the freaking Tree Sentinel. I think I was scared of you. Okay, he knocked me off my horse. Oh my God, he made me eat my freaking words, man. Oh my God, he made me eat those words, dude. The timing is ridiculous. Woo! Don't get greedy. Get out of my lobby. Just get out. Big things, ladies and gentlemen, big things. After racking up 40 deaths and leveling up enough to use the Bloodhound's Fang, I knew that it was finally time to take on the piece of ass himself, Margit the Fell Omen. Shit. Damn it. Okay, that was an okay first attempt. That was an okay first attempt. Can you clear some of this debris out of here for me? Thank you. Good man. Doing big things here. He's gonna hit me with the cheese, huh? He's gonna hit me with the cheese. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Roll, 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 roll. Fuck! Damn it! That was a good one though. Even with the added leveling and new weapon, he still gave me some trouble. Okay, hits aren't kind of landing like I want, but it's fine. Damn it. Man, that hits. Get wrecked. That was nice. That might get me into some trouble though. Let me go get my runes, buddy. Chill out for a sec. Oh God, I'm not gonna get my runes. Couple more of those, buddy. I have no heals. That is unfortunate. Damn it! <laughs> Finally, after a handful of unsuccessful attempts, I clutched up. I'm not letting you get me with any freaking cheese this time, all right? No cheese, Margaret. Just jump in the freaking air. That's cool, too. I like that one. I've gotten better at dodging that one. Damn it, get this debris out of my freaking face. Come on, just jump in the air, dude. Thank you. Oh, come on, you always jump after you do those. Why you gotta do me like that, man? Okay, I'll take this one. No, no. Dude sucks, man. I let him eat my lunch there for a minute. Running off the high from my victory over Margit, I then entered Stormvale Castle, which is absolutely littered with my least favorite enemy of the game. Damn, this one is a head. Dude, I can't get him. He killed me. You know what I should do? Don't know why I haven't been doing this. Well, it. Ow. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Relax. Ow. Damn it, dude. <laughs> birds mm. I'm running past these birds dude I'm running past them hey 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 I, I'm, I'm trying to talk to this chicken here
This f***ing bird, man. <laughs> oh, I just died four times to a bird. After acquiring a new fear of birds and collecting a couple of golden seeds, I came to the second main story boss. That was nice. Okay. He's angry now. He's angry. The dodges. We gotta play smart here. We got one heal left. One hit. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Come on! Oh, why did I get so greedy right at the end? I like that my flasks heal me all the way up. That's nice. Shit. Okay, three flasks left. Okay, chill out, chill out. Oh sh! That hasn't happened yet. Am I gonna die? We get damn freaking close. Get up! Get up! Get up! Okay, let's not be greedy. Let's not be greedy. One hit. One smart, calculated hit here. Get out of here. Get. Out my game. After beating Godric, I gained access to his great rune, which will become an important part of our success later on. Feeling a little self-conscious of my short little health bar and my small handful of flasks, I knew that I needed to get some golden seeds and level up before I progressed onto the next main boss. Doing so also led me to my first confrontation with a dragon. <laughs> Okay, he's awake. Okay, he's awake. All right, let's get him. Ow. Nice. Wing wing hits are fucking good. Shit. Almost got him. Almost got him. One hit. There we go. Sheesh. Beating dragons equips you with dragon hearts, which are an essential item to get when you're going for the platinum trophy, specifically for one of the legendary incantations that I'll need later. From here, I followed the path laid out by the Sights of Grace to find a new set of armor. After beating a very easy boss that was blocking my path, it was time for boss number three, Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. That's the motivation behind that. All right, phase one's done. Oh, that's an absolute laser. Um. Oh. I do not know how I'm alive. What? Excuse me? Will you stop some sh I have no more heals. Damn it, dude. I want that extra hit. GG's bitch. Second try. After just two attempts, I was able to take her down and get my first official trophy of this new playthrough. Look at that trophy. Get me out of here. From here, I took the fight to Castle Morn to fight Leonine Misbegotten, 
another trophy boss who also happens to be the owner of one of the nine legendary armaments that I need. And this place is absolutely littered with Leo 9 wannabes, including these little flying bastards. Can you stay on the ground, please? Can we land on the ground here? Fine, I'll still hit you. Dude. <laughs> Jump! All right, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Stay still. There we go. God, that was not irritating one bit. Look at all these arrows in me. <laughs> After navigating a somewhat confusing path to get to Leo 9, it was finally time for the fight. What up, Leo 9? I need your soul. Actually, I need your weapon, but I will take your soul as well. Chill, 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 chill. Daddy, chill. Okay, okay. That was a five, five piece combo. Oh, look at that damn now. Look at that damage now, boy. Okay. I'm a little disappointed I let him hit me so much. All right, good. Look at that. Trophy, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. Immediately afterwards, I made my way to Caria Manor to fight Royal Knight Loretta. This version of Loretta is relatively easy, and I would have had her on my first try if it wasn't for me spamming the infamous panic roll. Okay, this is gonna be a close one, boys. Oh god. No 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 I said I'm on the first try. Damn it. Okay, be smart. I only need one more good one. Just one little tiny hit. One little tiny hit would be good. Just one one little peck. A little peck on the cheek will kill him. God dang. Okay, do you have a phase two? I know you're a mini boss, but okay, good stuff. There we go, boys. Trophy, trophy. From here, I decided it was time to start one of the longer side quests of the game and meet Bay for the first time. After defeating the dragon guarding her tower and trashing her place real quick. Sorry, Ronnie, screw your books. I initiated her quest line. This side quest is essential for the platinum as it will give me one of the three endings that I need, one of the nine legendary armaments, as well as laying out a clear path for some of the essential boss fights. The first step in her quest line is to go to Siofra River, where the ancestral spirit awaits his ass whooping. This is actually kind of scary. I'm absolutely shredding him though. Absolutely shredding him. Yeah, I don't know. It just says ancestor spirit, so I'm not sure. We'll find out. Got it, baby. Let's go. We're just having your fucking farming trophies right now, boys. The next step in the quest line sends me to chat with Sorceress Selen, who tells me that it is time to fight the next main boss of the game, Radon. This sorceress tells us that Radon is responsible for arresting the cycles of the stars. In order to resume their cycles, we have to kill him, which will in turn allow Ronnie to fulfill her destiny. What the fuck am I playing? To reach Radon, I had to find two halves of the Dectus medallion. Once I have both sides, this medallion activates the Grand Lift of Dectus that takes me to the Atlas Plateau. Following these steps triggers the Festival of Radon. Before returning to fight Radon, I decided to explore the Atlas Plateau briefly, to which my chat tried to warn me that I was a bit too underleveled for the Atlas Plateau. So I had to show them that I'm him real quick. Oh good, another, another something. Oh my God. Dude, my bad homie. I feel like I can take this sucker though. Dude, every time he hits me, my horse automatically gone. Oh, I'm dead. How am I alive? Okay, no heals. I gotta play this smart. I've almost got him. That was beautiful. You'll love to see it, ladies and gentlemen.
After triggering Radon's festival, I was able to take the portal to Redmain Castle and to the general himself. Radon is one of the coolest boss fights in the game, and my chat wanted me to get the full experience, which included breaking one of my cardinal rules of this playthrough, summoning. Littered throughout the map as you enter are golden signs that allow you to summon a small army to fight Radon. And seeing as that's one of the appeals to this fight, I decided to see it through. Okay, the summons do absolutely nothing anyway, so I'm glad about that. Where is he? Oh, sh he's back. Okay, those things come out of absolutely nowhere to annihilate you. Gotcha. Even being my one and only time summoning in this playthrough, Radon still gave me the business. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh God. Holy guacamole. Damn it, bro. When do I go in for the attack here? Never seemed like a good time. Oh God, don't fucking. I'm an idiot. Always forget to jump on that one. Oh. The guy took the final hit for me. All right, we got it. Let's go. We got him with the cheese. That's all right. We got him with a little bit of cheese. After beating Radon and resuming the cycle of the stars, a giant crater formed in Limgrave, which takes me to Nocron Eternal City. This led me to the next trophy boss of fighting myself. Look at me using a bow and arrow. I don't do that. Damn, sorry, buddy. Sorry, me. Wait, if I'm whooping my own ass, is that a sign that I suck? Is that a sign that my stats are too low? Look at that trophy, ladies and gentlemen. Still in Nocron, I took on another ancestral spirit who also happens to give me another trophy. Next step in Ronnie's quest line took me to Ansel River, where I talked to miniature Ronnie. I have no idea how anyone does this without a guide. Then Ronnie tasked us with killing the baleful shadow before progressing to the oh so wonderful Lake of Rot, where I died a lot. And we're out. We were damn close. Maybe I can just speed run it. <laughs> I'm just going to freaking run as fast as I can. I'm going to go straight for it. I have to time my heels. Oh no. All right, I am. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I thought those were stairs, man. Just keep looking up guys. Keep looking up. Yep. You're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. Just keep looking up. place for real man from here i climb into a coffin at the edge of a waterfall that teleports me to arguably one of the more frustrating and uglier boss fights i have faced so far astel natural born of the void being that he she it was the last major hurdle to finishing Ronnie's questline, I was determined. After almost beating him on my first two attempts, he decided to pull a new move out of his bag of tricks that he hadn't used on me yet. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so close. Don't do this to me. 
Oh my god, dude. What? I would learn to hate this move. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Damn it. Already used four freaking flasks. It's about to be five. I'm dead. Better close again. Oh my God. So stressed. I did not think she was gonna be done there. I don't know why. I thought for sure she was gonna freaking keep going. After finally completing Ronnie's long ass quest line, I decided to return to the putrid tree spirit that absolutely cooked me when I last attempted it. Let's just say on this attempt, I was this close to breaking my rule of no summons. Exclamation point death in the chat, please. <laughs> Oh, yep, we're dead. Holy mother of God. Woo! Two hits, baby. God, what a dick. From there, I decided it was a good time to find the path to Volcano Manor. Along the way, I came across a boss fight that I was actually a little worried about going in. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Uh, he's down. He's down. We're frying him. We're frying him. Hey, not gonna lie, I thought this guy was harder than this. Okay, one more hit on you. And he was a trophy. Get him out the game. Adios, good night. After a couple more easier boss fights and climbing a million ladders, I finally arrived at Volcano Manor. After starting the Volcano Manor questline from a woman named Tanith, finding secret doorways and progressing down yet another confusing path, I was surprised by the Michelin Man? Being that I wasn't prepared for this boss fight at all, I went into it with only three flasks. Holy smokes. All right, we're out of heels, boys. That was a beautiful hit. We're so close. Oh my God. No, he got me through the fucking pillar, dude. Fuck. Almost had him, dude. Now that I was a bit more prepared, I handled Michelin Man with ease. Are you done? Cool. Look at that beautiful freaking ass trophy, boys. I then progressed to the main reason I came to Volcano Manor in the first place. Rickard, Lord of Blasphemy. Even with the use of the overpowered Serpent Hunter, Rickard absolutely dominated me a few times. Damn it. I don't have a lot of it already, so. Damn it, dude. 
I need to get the hell out of this area. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, baby. Next, I headed back to Seofra River to take on my first double team. Hey, yo, what the f The Valiant Gargoyles. There are several annoying aspects to this fight. Number one, there's two of them. Number two, they constantly deal poison damage. Number three, you're right next to a waterfall. And finally, number four, the buttholes never freaking sit still. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. In hell. All right, I'm gonna allocate some class. Holy sh! What a move! I don't think there's any way, unless I was the most patient player of all time and dodging every single thing possible. Oh my god! I don't know when to go in for it, boys. Damn it! Finally, after a few tries and getting roasted by my chat, I clutched up. I don't want to deal with your brother yet. Just me, big boy. Holy mother of God. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus, that move is asshole. Damn it, dude. I'm burning through flasks right now. One down. Come here, young man. Come here. Come on. Do some flying. Sh you want to do this? Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come here, big boy. How'd that feel on your kneecap, huh? You don't have a kneecap. Your left knee now. Your left knee is kneecap -less. Good night, bitch. Okay, hold on. Jesus, I spoke a little too early there, boys. GG's. Get him out. Get him out. After beating the Valiant Gargoyles and collecting another trophy, I rode a coffin to another location called the Deep Root Depths, in which I came to a fight at the base of this giant ungodly creature. I'll be back at this location later, but for now, I took a teleporter that brought me to Lendell Royal Capital. Navigating the capital for the first time is the opposite of fun. One hour later. After finally getting on the correct path, I found myself facing Godfrey, the First Lord, a mere shell of the Godfrey that I'll face later on. Smoked him. Immediately afterwards, I encountered a familiar face, Margit, who has now revealed his true identity to be Morgot. Recounting the fact that I died 14 times the last time I faced this guy, I was determined to not have a repeat performance. After a really poor first attempt, I went into the next attempt with poise and purpose. You ever chill, buddy, in this phase? Fuck. No! Is that death? Okay, we're still good. We're still alive.
I'm him. I'm him. I'm that guy. Second try. Second try. I'm him. Back again in the deep root depths after triggering Fia's quest line, it was time for another trophy boss. After just a few misses with my sword and a couple unfortunate deaths, I beat the boss and got my 20th trophy. Dude, if I could hit something else, that'd be great. Thank you. There we go, we got our trophy. Now let me the frick out of here. Before I could progress too much further, I needed to snag one of the nine legendary armaments in the capital. This weapon happens to be the one missable item in the entire game. So I needed to grab it now in order to get the trophy later on. After a laughable fight with another trophy boss, I made my way to the shaded castle to take on a boss that kind of surprised me. Hi, Elmer. Oh, shit. Okay, for a dumbass name like Elmer, I thought you were going to be a lot less cool. Holy mother. Oh, wrong thing. I'm dead. He's got so much reach. Oh my god, no. I mean, I have to get really far if I'm going to get away from him. Is essentially what I'm picking up here. I'm so close. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, you're missing me with that this time, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, good night, young man. Good night. Good night, Elmer. Good night, Elmer. Let's go. From here, I progressed onwards to the Forbidden Lands. I found out very quickly why it's forbidden. Holy mother of God. Next, I made my way to the mountaintop of the giants and made my first couple attempts on the fire giant. In typical Tyler fashion, I almost beat him on the first try. You know the rest. Okay, so he the next day, I decided to take on another trophy boss before returning to the fire giant and progressing the main storyline. This brought me to Castle Soul, where I racked up a few more deaths. Ah, I see you like to spawn some bullshit. You like a little bit of cheese with your fights, huh? A little bit of cheese. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, buddy, just me and you. Let's not die here. Let's not die here. Okay, I was not expecting that one. Chill out, Commander. Let me take care of your minions real quick. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, let's not get cornered here. Let's not get cornered. Let me out. Mother of God. Will you chill out for a couple seconds? Fuck. All right, Commander Nial is a freaking butthole. Come on, Commander. Come on, come on, they're null. I got you learned now, buddy. Good night. You ever, you have a second base? No, of course you don't. Cause you suck ass. Get him out. With that out of the way, it was time to return to the fire giant and take him out once and for all. Good night, bitch. Before leaving the mountaintop of the giants, I fought this invader real quick to get the last smithing stone I needed to max out my weapon, which gives me another trophy. With my weapon maxed out, I made my way to Halig Tree. It's not as fun and friendly as it sounds. That thing following me though? Yeah, you are. 
Oh, don't. Nope. I love this game. Our main objective for being here is to not only take on another trophy boss, but to carve out the path to a fight that I'll need to face later on. Next up, Loretta, Knight of the Halig Tree. Earlier in the playthrough, I faced a version of Loretta that was relatively painless. This version has zero chill. Learning the set of move combinations she had, both at short range and long range, was a frustrating experience. And at many points, I was within one hit of beating her. That would have been beautiful. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Eventually, I had less than a perfect run, but got the job done anyway. Oh, W. <laughs> Getting back on track with the main storyline, it was time to set the Erd Tree of Flame, which gives me trophy number 27 and sends me to the crumbling Ferrum Azula, a place of literal nightmares. Why am I fighting this guy? Why am I fighting him? Oh, good. Holy shit. We're not dead? Look at the spot we landed on, boys. But we can't get up either. <laughs> I can't go to the right. <laughs> what? I can't go up either. Dragon, go away for a sec, dude. I gotta teleport out of here. I feel like I can do it. Run on wall before jumping. Oh, so close, dude. <laughs> However, it was a place I needed to quickly master because it was home to several trophy boss fights. Oh, I should have changed my freaking mix. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Nothing stupid here. GG. GG. G. GG. Let's go, baby. Get out of my freaking game. Let's go. Aerial attack, where are you coming from? 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 Ah! Holy laser show. That definitely should have hit me, huh? Is he done? He dead? Before proceeding to the next big bat in the area, I took a short break to backtrack and beat another trophy boss back in the capital. We got him, boys. As well as beating the misbegotten warrior to finish off the legendary armaments trophy. It was a good fight, but okay, we might get the trophy right here. There it is, baby. There it is. All right, another one down. It was time to return the crumbling Faramazula and face, without a doubt, my hardest challenge yet Malekith the Black Blade. No! Early on in this fight, I had absolutely no strategy at all and couldn't even make it to a second phase. After a few attempts, I decided to do something that I had rarely done up to this point and use a shield. Even then, it still took me a couple more attempts to become familiar with what I could and could not block. Oh, you can actually block that dude. What? After a bit, I started to become very comfortable with the first phase, often finishing it with ease. But every time the second phase started, I didn't stand a chance. Whoa! Whoa! Lasted long there, didn't we, boys? Whoa, mother of God! Oh, I hit him once. I'm gonna die. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh. After looking over the guide, I found an item that would give me an edge, the Blasphemous Claw. When timed correctly, it is the one way to parry the Black Blade of Malekith. Mastering the timing of it, however, was a different story. Oh, I was ready to parry, dude. I was ready, I was ready. 30 deaths later, the unimaginable happened. Please go up in the air. Just go up in the air. Last heal. Please die, please die, please die. Please die. After facing absolute hell for the past two hours, I needed an easier trophy boss to fight. Unfortunately, I was not going to get that. Oh. After racking up an ungodly amount of deaths, finishing off Mog and Horolu, only a handful of trophies remained. It was time. The hours of boss fights, mastering my skills and techniques, and facing relentless pain and death has led me to this moment. A moment that would separate me from the average gamer. A moment that would push me down a path few are willing to take. The toughest battle in my pursuit for the Platinum Trophy was upon me. It was time to face what many consider to be the hardest boss in Souls history. Elden Ring's very own Angel of Death. The Goddess of Rot. The Blade of Mikola. Melania. While some have resorted to using absolute cheese to beat her, including exploits of overpowered weapons, or the help of summoning others, you know the guy, I wanted to face Melania the honest way, the true way that I believe that she was intended. No summons, no magic, no mimic tier, and no cheese. I wanted it to just be me and her, 1v1. I had something to prove, not only to my viewers, but to myself. That you don't need some special tactic or overpowered weapon to beat Melania. It was possible to learn her movesets, perfect dodging and timing of those movesets, and use small windows of opportunity to your advantage. Day one would be just that, learning her movesets and perfecting my timing. With the death counter reset and my mind clear, I made my first attempts. There we go. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, going in for hits is sketchy, dude. Well, I was doing good at the first half of this. Now I'm totally f***ing it up. God, dude. Okay, okay, okay. It's doing good in the first half, not gonna lie. We gotta hit her with those. This one. Hit it with the two-piece? Okay. Hit it with the two-piece? You come to me, big girl. Except for this. Haha. -ha. Perfect, thank you. Oh, I'm dead. Here we go. If you've never fought Melania yourself, there are a couple reasons that she is so difficult. Reason number one, the ability to heal herself every time she hits you. And number two, one special move called Waterfowl Dance that is damn near impossible to dodge. Surprisingly enough, I dodged Waterfowl Dance on my first attempt seemingly with ease. Was this it? Yeah. Yeah, miss me with that, big girl. It would not be so easy in my following attempts. Scared she's gonna do it. No, you want to. Oh, sh there it is. I'm dead. Of course, when I go for the f hit, she has to do it. Wow, you're gonna do it right now? She cheesed me with that one, man. She f cheesed me with that one. Now's not a good time. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're 
almost two hours in of Melania, dude. If you can dodge Waterfowl Dance enough times and survive through Melania's first phase, you might be lucky enough to make it to phase two, which is an absolute nightmare. Six heals in a dream. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'm not ready. Yeah, I wasn't quite ready. I was not quite ready. <laughs> After getting to her second phase early on in my attempts, my confidence felt like it was starting to build, but somehow I was getting worse. Shit, we gotta hit those. Oh God. Didn't even put a dent on her that time. I'm getting worse, man. Not a good time, not a good time, not a good time. Damn, bro. Damn it, dude. Wow. She is not going for the combos that I think she's going to go for. Fuck. Yeah, I'm getting worse, man. The rest of day one, the deaths really started to rack up, and I was only able to get to the second phase a handful of times. Oh, sh Yeah, there's that one. Haven't seen that one yet. Oh, sh Got that she does that. Oh, that was not prepared for it. I, oh, I did not think that that was Waterfell Dance. She's not going to let me heal. There it is. Holy shit, dude, that one sucks. <laughs> that one absolutely sucks. Oh, sh I was not prepared for waterfowl dance. Jesus, dude. Yeah, I'm fucked. Nope. On the surface, I looked calm, but on the inside. On day two, with a set of new talismans and armor in tow, it was time to nut up or shut up. My first attempt of day two, I got to her second phase with 12 flasks still in my inventory. Boys, we are onto something. We are on to something. Okay, she's she's cooking me here. Hold up, bay. Let me let me heal. Not now. Okay, I thought she was doing the move. Oh, she get me? Oh, I'm not dead. Move, 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 move. Go heal, go heal. Let me heal, let me heal. No, 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 no. I'm dead. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't get a chance to heal. Okay, that was good though. Okay, that was good. While I absolutely choked that attempt, it also gave me the confidence that I actually had what it takes to get this done. I was now consistently getting to her second phase, but on top of Waterfowl Dance, her second phase adds a couple more agonizing moves to the mix. Oh sh oh sh oh sh Can't get hit here. Damn it, dude! <laughs> not good, 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 not good. Am I dead? Holy f dude. That is horrible placement for that. Damn it, dude! With a handful of phase two attempts under my belt, I was starting at the timing of her new movesets down, and I was getting closer. One more f hit. Oh my god, I f***ing choked! Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was perfect, dude.
That was exactly what we wanted her to do. That was exactly what I needed her to do. Oh, I choked. Of course, in typical Tyler fashion, I had some really horrible attempts as well. I might just have to call it a f Yeah, just, just kill me, just kill me, just kill me. Just kill me, go ahead, go ahead, kill me, kill me, kill me. Dude, we should get her on the 69th. I should just do it for the memes. We did it for nice boys. We did it for nice boys. Let's fucking go, baby. We did it on 69. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. Are you kidding me? We did it for nice. We did it for the 69, boys. That's a clip. With Melania finally out of the way, it was time to finish cleaning up the rest of the legendary item trophies. With how over leveled I was at this point, it was a breeze. Oh my god, I literally... <laughs> I almost one hit him, look at that. Okay, bye bye Wow. If you're gonna do that, at least hit me. GG's to that dude. That's just embarrassing for everybody involved. GG's buddy. Here we go. Should get it right here. There we go. Okay, Ashen remains down. Here we go, boys. Should get the incantations. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another trophy down. To get the final legendary item trophy, I fought a familiar face. Okay, he's a big boy. Oh, it's it's Godric. It's freaking Godric. That's right. I took that to the face because you ass, boy. I wasn't even scared, boy. I'm not even going to heal up here. Get out of here. Should be for the trophy. There we go, boys. We got the talismans. From here, I moved on to the final boss fight of the game. A two-phase fight that includes Radagon, the Golden Order, and the Elden Beast. After beating Melania, I figured that this fight would be cake. Radagon proved me wrong. God, that was so slow and delayed. Oh, I'm dead, huh? Am I dead? Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Holy mother of God. That just got some range on it. Am I dead? Mother of God. Oh, no, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir. Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm alive. And I'm fried. You know what? Uh, I'm just struggling a little bit. That way that we can uh, prolong this because we're only 35 minutes in. You know what I mean? We got to prolong this. I don't want to get the platinum too quickly. I can't do that to the people. Okay, fuck off. Once I consistently got past Radagon, I just had to take care of the Elden Beast, a mostly laughable last boss that doesn't do anything too complicated. However, it made a fool of me a couple times. Oh, I'm on the fucking edge again, man. 
Okay, the edge of the map is officially the most annoying part of this boss fight. Come on, baby. Clutch up here. Oh my god! Oh, the wall, are you kidding me? The fucking wall, dude! The next attempt, it was time to send Nessie back to Loch Ness. The thing has no chill, dude. Yeah, this is the one, boys. Here we go. This is the one. Bye-bye. 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 Get off. Get off. Bye-bye. Now that I beat the final boss, it was time to get three of the available six endings. Taking advantage of the PlayStation Cloud feature so that I didn't have to play the game two more times, I was able to load back into the game where I left off after beating the Elden Beast. For the first ending, I touched the statue to get the Elden Lord ending. Ending one. Then I quickly closed out of the game, downloaded my save back from the cloud, and got the Age of Stars ending that is obtainable from finishing Ronnie's questline. Okay, there we go. Utilizing cloud save one more time, I got the final ending, and with it, the Platinum Trophy. Give me the plat, give me the plat, give me the plat, give me the plat, give me the plat. Give me one. Give me the Frenzied Flame. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! Platinum trophy. Our first ever, boys. We did it on Elden Ring. Absolute W. Let's go. Ladies and gentle dudes, that was my first platinum trophy ever. I hope you enjoyed the experience just as much as I did and keep an eye out in the future for more platinum videos because I have a long list of platinums that I'm working on. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video for me and consider subscribing because this is just the beginning, baby.